Here we have a sad math question. There is an inequality given over here. There is y less than 6x plus 2. For which of the following tables are all the values of x and their corresponding values of y? Solutions are to the given inequality. Okay, now let me check option A. In option A, the first set of values we have for x and y uh, is 3, 20. That is when I plug in x equals to 3, uh, then the value, the corresponding value of uh, y is 20. Okay, let me plug in x equals to 3 and y equals to 20 in the given inequality. So then I'm getting 20 uh, less than 6 times uh, 3, positive 2. So 20 less than 6 times uh, 3 is 18, positive 2. So 20 less than 18, positive 2 is 20. Is it true? No, it's false because 20 and 20 are equal. But here 20 is less than 20 uh, is false. So uh, in option A, even the first set of values uh, does not satisfy the given inequality. And we don't have to verify the second set and third set. Okay, now uh, let's move to option B. Okay, now let me take the first set of values of X and Y. That is when X equals to 3, uh, Y has to be 16. So let me plug in X equals to 3 and Y equals to 16 uh, in the given inequality over here. So we have uh, 16 for Y less than 6 times. So the value of uh, X is 3, that is 6 times 3 is uh, uh, 6 times 3, positive 2. So 16 less than 6 times 3 is 18, positive 2, 16 less than 18, positive 2 is 20. So actually this is true. So in option B, the first set of values we have for X and Y uh, satisfies the given inequality. Anyways, uh, we can verify the second set of values. That is uh, when X equals to 5, we have Y equals to 36. Okay, let me do it. So that is I'm going to plug in uh, Y equals to 36 and uh, X is uh, 5, so 6 times so 5, positive 2, so 36 less than 6 times 5 is uh, 30, positive 2, uh, 36 less than 30, positive 2 is 32. So is it true? No, it's false because 36 is greater than 32. But uh, when I plug in the second set of values in option B uh, into the second inequality, I'm getting a false uh, statement. So we can reject option B and we don't have to verify the third set of uh, values. Okay, now uh, let me take uh, option C. Okay, let me do it over here. So now I'm going to take option C. So in option C, the first set of values we have, uh, that is 3 comma 16, x equals to 3 and y equals to 16. Let's plug in these values into the given inequality. Then I'm getting 16 less than uh, 6 times 3, positive 2. I'm getting 16 less than, this is 18, 18 positive 2 is 20. 16 less than 20. It's a true statement. So the first set of values in option C uh, satisfies the given inequality. Okay, anyways, so now let's take uh, the second set of values. That is x equals to 5 and y equals to 28. And we can check with the inequality. That is, I'm going to plug in 28 for y. And for x, I have to plug in uh, 5, positive 2. So 28 uh, less than 6 times 5 is 30, 32, uh, positive 2, 32. Okay, the second set of values in option C satisfies the uh, uh, given inequality. Now let's take the third set of values that is x equals to 7 and y equals to 40. So that is, I'm going to plug in 40 for y and 7 for x. It is 6 times 7, positive 2, 40. Uh, less than 6 times 7 is 42. 42, positive 2 will be 44. This is also true. So all the three sets of values in option C uh, satisfy the given inequality. So I think the uh, option C is correct. Anyways, uh, we can verify the last option D also. So for that, uh, we have to plug in. When I plug in X equals to 3, the uh, corresponding Y value is 24. Let me plug in 24 for Y and uh, uh, 3 for X into the given inequality. Then 6 times 3, positive 2. So 24 less than 6 times 3 is 18. 18 positive 2 is 20. 24 less than 20. It's a false statement. Even the first set of values in option D does not satisfy the given inequality. So the correct answer choice uh, for this question is option C, because uh, all the three sets of values of uh, X and Y satisfy the given inequality.